now uh, before going to you know further analysis right we uh, i mean uh, we should see how panini uh, classifies the sounds in five vargas right based on the you know place of articulation within the mouth so the 7 8 9 positions which which are you know the back side of the mouth they are uh, called kantha or the throat and then palate is a talu which is the top of the mouth which is uh, you know position 6 uh, the upper portion of the mouth and the and the front front part of uh, the talu is murdha right uh, so that is uh, you know like cerebral sounds come from murdha and then you know you have this uh, the teeth uh, like the sounds so which are created with te- teeth and then lips so and then here is how panini defines or or categorizes the sounds so we have the vowel so for uh, pronouncing the vowel the tongue doesn't touch the mouth so and then we have the stops which is a consonant like ka ga each of these sounds 25 sounds the tongue touches some part of the mouth so you close your vocal tract and the sound in a voice is uh, shut or stopped for a very small uh, a small portion of sound ka so if you say your tongue will touch somewhere right so all the stops so that so they call stops and then we have the semi vowels ya ra la they are between the stops and the vowels and then you have the sibilant the sa sound sa sh and the aspirate which is a ha right so it's interesting if you see what panini says here right the sound ka produced relatively back in the vocal tract is a guttural stop lending its name to the first of the five vargas associated associated with the simple vowel a so so like so all these sounds the vowel a the stops ka kha ga ga unga and then the aspirate h and the visarjaniya what is visarjaniya the hard and distinctly audible aspiration represented by two vertical dots like shanti shanti so that that is also uh, it's called visarjaniya and then uh, panini uses a term akuho visarjaniya nan kantha so which is the, the throat of the a a ka ha and visarjaniya so first varga panini calls akuho visarjaniya Uh, you know, we said Janiya Nang Kanta is the is the place of articulation. So he is an adjective for Kanta, and so uh, and then so the second varga, which which comes from Talu, uh, the second varga is named after Cha, the first of the five sounds produced by stopping or blocking a part of the oral cavity by touching the palate, the top of the mouth, with the front part of the tongue. And Panini stands for the place of articulation is Ichu a Ichu ya Shanang Talu. So he again sort of what it says. the palette of the four types of sound simple vowel e the five consonant ch ch j j ng semi vowel y and the sibilant sh and for the vowel e he uses the term a dvaita kantha what it means throat palate of two e's two a's which is a and i right so sort of we have uh, the a and i sound are related so he so here he defines right that the a sound needs two places of articulation one is throat and palate correct now now come to let's see this one which is if you uh, you know uh, if you divide the mouth in two sections by an imaginary line drawn through, through uh, you know drawn through the center of the tongue then the you know the left side of the back side is your kantha or the guttural sounds and the front and and the rest of the sounds are are produced from the front so the k sound is produced from the back and the a sound is produced from the back but the ch and a sound are produced from the front side now what happens uh, when you have a sound like k so k you have the k sound and a compound vowel a so the k sound is produced from the back of the of your mouth and the a sound is produced from the front of your mouth so when you say k so you know so you have to use both the kantha and the and the sort of uh, and a talu right so this a sound has a stimulus to simplify and you know push the sound place of articulation of the ka sound little little forward so the moment the ka is shifted little forward it becomes cha because if you see here right like ka is produced from the back of the mouth and cha is produced from the front of the mouth the tongue instead of touching little back if little shifts to the front ka becomes cha so that is the point where you know the k the k sound 
has a tendency to become ch because again of the ease of articulation and the stimulus that a vowel is creating to push the place of articulation of ka little forward so the k sound could be palatalized to ch and sh because we saw the ch sh are again produced from the talu talavya uh, varg and uh, again uh, so here we can see something interesting like like say the uh, horse which is ashwa right the in latin it's called equus and in greek uh, okay greek i think uh, we can ignore that so and and the and the proto european form is equus right so here the uh, the qua qua sound right it 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 becomes schwa and again we we have seen that the a o sounds become you know simplified to a so equus become ashwa right if you just replace qua with schwa and a o with a you get ashwa and same thing uh, i think uh, kintam and shatam looks similar right uh, and again like arjun comes from the root uh, arg right again so arg becomes arj and from that you you get arjun right so again sort of ga becoming ja it is again like the ease of articulation it is it's called palatalization